What is going on everybody? Comble here, and as you read by the title, today I have 5 quick octane tips to make you an octane god. This video hopefully will teach you something new you didn't know about the fast man himself. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting out with number 1, we have the infamous heal while sprinting tech with octane. Now Respawn said they took this out of the game, but actually they did not. It was made pretty clear in the video that I posted not too long ago using the old method that yes, you do not need to jump when you heal and you will be able to sprint while healing. Well, the way it works now, as you can see, if I damage myself here, you know, and then we have our Phoenix kit, which I'm going to grab, and I try to pop a stim while I am healing, you can hear me hitting the trigger here, it is not going to let me. What we need to do now is before the uh, Phoenix kit is completely out and we can see the entire model, we need to pop our stim. So all you need to do is start sprinting and then very quickly pop the stim as the Phoenix kit comes out. Now the way it works now, you will not sprint afterwards. Um, after you're done healing, you see I'm sprinting right here. I will stop sprinting right there. It actually made me stop. I don't know if this is a bug just on my part, but uh, it's something that's happened pretty consistently. A good example of this is if I take a syringe right here, and I will damage myself yet again. You're going to do the same thing we just did. And once the syringe is up, I'm actually going to stop sprinting. As you can see right there, it actually forced me to stop sprinting. You can do it immediately after it's done. That doesn't change anything. If you're using a larger heal, similar to the Phoenix kit that you saw, you will keep sprinting until that heal is over, and you can immediately resume your sprint once that animation ends. Moving on to number two, we have a way to maximize the distance you get with Octane's jump pad when double jumping. So, as a general rule of thumb, and I'm going to show an example of this right after I'm done, the way the velocity works with the double jump is it feeds off your terminal velocity at the time of which you launch off the jump pad. So, in Lamus terms, the faster you are going when you double jump, the further you're going to go. So, something to note about jump pads is no matter what speed you run into them, you can slide into them with your stim, or you can crouch walk into them, you are going to get launched the exact same distance every single time if you hold forward the whole time. So right here, I'll show an example of that. If I stim slide into it, you'll see right here, I land halfway and equal with this jump pad right here. And if I crouch walk into it, right here, I'm going to land at that exact same distance right there. The FOV change of the stem may lead you to think that you're going further, but you're really not. Moving on to the double jump and what this entire tip is about, I will show an example. The faster you are going in the air and when you double jump, the further you will go. So right here, if I stem and I'm midair and I jump during my terminal velocity, I will make it almost halfway to this jump pad. Now for whatever reason, if I'm not holding forward the entire time and I slow down during this double jump like this, as you will see, the double jump is much more pathetic, and I don't make it anywhere close to where I did with the last one. Moving on to number three, we have another tech with Octane that deals with his mid-air combat. Now, because of the most recent buff to Octane and the double jump capability that he now has, Octane has single-handedly become the best character for mid-air engagements. Now, this could be applied to his team too, as they can use the jump pad, but I'm going to say Octane because he can throw this and actively have this ability at all times. I'm going to stop talking and show you what I mean. Because of the new double jump buff, Octane can actually go in the air and kill targets fully before even hitting the ground. Right there, it was more headshots than anything. To prove that that wasn't luck, we're going to do it again. As you can see right there, I double jump. People are going to have a very rough time hitting you as one, midair makes you a slightly harder target. Being above them at a weird angle also makes that harder right there. Practice with this and I promise you when you apply it in game, you will completely dominate dominate the competition. Octane to me, just because of this, has become much higher in my tier ranking. Expect another video on that. And overall, I think has a very unique place in the game. Moving on to number four and a slight bit of elaboration onto tip number three, we have a little technique I like to call the explosive landing. Now, if you did or did not know, you can actually bounce projectiles off of Octane's jump pad and hit enemies. This does not apply to bullets, obviously, or Gibraltar, Bangalore alt, stuff like that, but it does apply to things such as revenant balls and especially grenades. I would say frags are the best for this tip because you're less likely to harm yourself with them, but I digress, you can use this with whatever you want depending on the situation. 
As I said in the last tip, aerial combat with Octane, in my opinion, is a very big part of this game now, and this just takes it to another level. So what you can do, actually, is with a bounce pad and a little bit of practice, you can predict where your frag grenades are going to land. Now, I will say, as a little tip, your frag grenades land exactly where you would if you had no directional input at all. So where you throw this frag grenade will be the same distance you would land if you just went straight through that jump pad and just landed. Basically, you're going to land where your nade's going to land. The way to avoid taking damage is by double jumping at the correct moment, and while the people are distracted looking at you, they will take damage from your frag grenade, maybe even run away allowing you to get a few cheap shots in. So right here, I'm going to show you what this looks like. If we can throw our grenade onto this guy. As you can see right there, he's done. This is extremely satisfying to pull off in game, though a bit situational, I will admit. Right here, we're going to do it again. Like I said, with a little bit of practice, that nade actually landed on his head. Very satisfying and very cool. I haven't seen it on any montages yet, so there's a challenge for you. And finally, to end things off, this tip may seem a little weaker than the ones uh, presumed earlier, but it's hard to make tips. And this one right here is very important, I think. Uh, this goes way back to the fundamentals of Octane and pretty much the fundamentals of Apex as a whole. As we all know, Octane is the speed guy, and that definitely applies into his neutral game. When it comes to strafing when shooting people, I cannot think of a more important part of your metagame, especially in a higher level comp, because if you're not moving, people are going to take you down before you even knew what happened. Octane Stim allows your strafing to be improved on immensely. As you can see right here, if you decide to save your Stim before you fight in an engagement, your strafing becomes much, much, much better than what it was before. So right here, if we're strafing like this, we pop this, our strafing is even faster. Right here, we're walking at almost sprint speed. What this allows us to do is to jitter strafe a lot faster. This is a very good thing on console. I don't know about on PC. As you can see right here. Something you can also do mid-fight. If you are fighting somebody and you feel the need to stim, that is also another thing you can do. So right here, if we're fighting this guy, and then we pop a stim, we completely mix up our movement and make them miss many more shots than they would normally. Though you do take a bit of damage, I think this is 100% worth it, and something you should really try incorporating into your everyday gameplay. Anyways everyone, there you have it, 5 quick tips with Octane to make you an Octane god. I know, this video was uh, a little bit abstract, but uh, yeah, I think it was, I think you uh, definitely could learn something from this. A few things I hope you learned, if not, leave a comment saying why the video sucked, and if you did enjoy it, you know, share it around. You know, say, hey, this little YouTuber is kind of cool, you should like check this out. And if you don't, that's cool too, just like the view helps, even if you disliked it, you still get a view, so. <laughs> Anyways everyone. I'm gonna stop ranting. I hope you enjoyed the video from the bottom of my heart. I'll be shipping out to basic soon, so this may be one of the last character guides you see. I'll hopefully try to get a Revenant one out before I leave, but who knows if that'll happen. But yeah, this has been Combo, everybody. Stay home, stay safe, and peace out.